Five Stages of Grief, a term coined and now made famous by Swiss-American psychiatrist Dr. Kubler-Ross. Initially developed to describe those facing terminal illness and now having to process their own mortality, something that all of us have undoubtedly thought of at one point or another in our lives, the stages were then adapted as a way of thinking about grief in general. Well, wouldn't you know it? I've adapted it as a way of thinking towards learning cybersecurity. Because learning cybersecurity might come easier to some, but I think you'll find solace in knowing that we all went through the same ups and downs to get out of the rat race and land that sweet remote cybersecurity job. And whether you're just now starting out in your cybersecurity learning journey, halfway through it, or you're a CISO at some place, maybe this can help prepare you, or at the very least serve as confirmation bias that we're all dead inside. Denial, not just a river in Egypt, you deny what everyone is telling you about this difficult career path. You're just looking for a quick six-figure salary, want to put forth the least amount of time and effort possible while trying to convince yourself that you're actually going to put the work in this time. Now, people are saying this and that isn't for beginners, and you see those six-month roadmaps, gobble them up, but then don't end up putting in the necessary blood, sweat, and late-night tears to actually get her done. Why are you the way that you are, honestly? So in a sense, you're denying the stark reality that maybe you're either too lazy or this is going to take much longer than anticipated. So you continue to scour the internet for more six month roadmaps instead of actually buckling down and busting out every offset certification in one year like this dude in our discord. Now, if this is you and you're denying reality, don't feel bad. We've all done it. Why would anybody want to work tirelessly for something that wasn't their first choice of career? I too wanted to join the NBA or stream myself playing video games, playing 40 hours a week and call it a job. So my my wife wouldn't get mad at me. But hey, I've gotten multiple fully remote IT or cybersecurity jobs in the past three years. And that's just as good, right? Right? Anger. Shot. My favorite stage, arguably one of the longest stages for some, me included. Tracy Hale. Yeah. We need a new printer. Reality sets in. You realize, oh shit. I did the six month roadmap. My resume is flawless and I'm getting nowhere. You get mad at the roadmaps. You get mad at Mad Hat. What the f man? You said it was gonna be easy if you're a genius. And I know I'm a genius because I've certified online. This site here says my IQ is higher than Albert Einstein's. I'm sorry, but statistically speaking, odds are your IQ is only slightly higher than baby Einstein. You need to chill out. It's not anyone's fault but your own that you didn't complete all those cybersecurity projects or your resume or document it well, or that you just glossed over all the concepts in the Google cybersecurity certificate because you watched one video that says it's trash. Trash. In the immortal world, words of some doctor dude talking to another dude. When you believe something's true, you'll find evidence for it. Whether you think it's true, whether you think it's not, it's gonna be true for you. In other words, whatever you believe is self-evident. You reinforce what you believe. You found what you were looking for. Yeah. So you gotta train yourself to look for something different. Inevitably, you're going to get mad. Learning the basics isn't easy. It's frustrating learning about all those cases where someone with no credentials outside of the Google cybersecurity certificate landed that sweet entry level junior position. You've got it, the last security job. But you gotta realize something, life's not fair. Just chill out, keep learning, keep trying, and keep applying. Bargaining. When we're in pain from the endless grind that is life, we almost become desperate. You'll just do about anything to get that job. Professional resume, athletic and special skills resume, and Dwight Schrute trivia. I am ready. Anything but continue to grind it out because it's sucking the life out of your soul. If you still have one by this point, maybe you're bargaining to a higher power. If I just get this job, I'll stop drinking the devil's Kool-Aid. That's not gonna work. And at this point, you'll start running through the what ifs. What if you started learning all of this sooner? What if you didn't get that degree in ancient Greek? Because as a kid, you idolized Hercules and you never stopped obsessing about trying to find Mount Olympus because you wanted to meet Hercules himself. Hero isn't measured by the size of his strength by the size of his penis. If only I listened to Mad Hat instead of that one crazy bro in general chat telling me don't do it because AI is going to take over your job. Bro. But it's okay. There's no time like the present to forget about the past. <laughs> depression. Now this is the depression that you feel learning cybersecurity, not the depression you feel getting stood up by life. This is the stage where giving up is looking real good. You've tried, you've gotten some certifications, you've researched what more you could possibly do. You're hearing the same noise from everybody. Just keep going. You'll get it eventually, right? 
but you don't want to keep going. Now all these stages are not linear. You'll likely bounce between all of them. A cocktail of emotions. You're angrily bargaining with yourself and denying that you're depressed. You feel like you're ready to get that entry level cybersecurity job because you've crammed your brain full of hacking mythologies and analyst investigation playbooks and you're anxiously sitting on the bench of life waiting for coach to put you in to prove yourself. I'm ready to go in coach. Just give me a chance. You're feeling down, feeling out. You're feeling like a plastic bag. If you're stuck here now, you've given up, you've done all you think you can, the job market is what it is, complete shit, and you just want to go back to laying concrete because the pay's good. Well, I'm here to tell you that. Give up. Go home and sleep. Fuck it. No, no, don't, don't do that. Now, I've been here, done that. If any of you have seen my video about my time spent in college, you'll know I've given up. Twice. Maybe three times? Either way, giving up just delayed getting me to where I am now. Now, it wasn't me giving up in the traditional sense where I felt like it was too difficult and I was just gonna choose a different career path for me. It was more so taking a break and reassess if computer science was right for me, which by the way is what my original major was in college. And it wasn't, it was not right for me. Because guess what? We are not all meant to be a cybersecurity analyst or a penetration tester. Everyone's mind is wired differently. That's not to say that you can't get it. You're too stupid. Give up. No. But you could find that after doing everything you need to, to learn how to do any particular niche in cybersecurity, that it's just not right for you. And if you realize this too late, you'll find yourself in a cybersecurity job going through the five stages of grief in a job that you hate. I don't want to work. I just want to bang on this mug all day. It's not that I couldn't code, I just hated it. Trying to make a simple function work and spending endless hours debugging was the worst. And I realized I have to find something different, but still working on computers. And that's the beauty of technology, of cybersecurity. There's so many different needs in the IT space. You need to make sure that this is what you want and that you have picked the correct niche. Because if you can't stand what you're learning, you're more likely to give up. You're more likely to get burnt out. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. And more likely to focus on the wrong things because you've spent so much time and effort already and you just think that you somehow have to make this work by finding some magical way to avoid learning exactly what you need to know to actually land the job. Now, job markets aside, that's an entirely other issue. If you don't learn the right things and learn them well. Hi Thor, did you know you can sing Amazing Grace to the tune of the original Pokemon theme song and vice versa? Have a great day. Now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. Shit. You're just gonna find yourself getting passed over in interviews. Passion is the most important thing, almost. It's just as important, if not more important, than the knowledge aspects. Who wants to work with a depressed, angry person who knows it all? Not me. Acceptance. Your life sucks right now learning everything about cybersecurity, and the level of suck is exacerbated by the realization that it doesn't get better. It doesn't slow down. You might realize that you've learned stuff you don't need to learn. T2P is a widely known thing in game development. Anytime you give players the ability to be creative, if you let them draw something, it will be a dick. Every time. It's called TTP or time to penis. Or you might not learn everything that you thought you needed to know. And that's okay. Realize that this isn't some get rich quick scheme. For the amount of knowledge that you need to have as a junior security analyst, you'd think it'd pay more. Honestly, it varies. You might get lucky, but probably not. You might get paid 50k working fully on site with a one hour commute. But in order to get something bigger and better somewhere else, you gotta start somewhere. And if you desperately want to jump to that six figure remote security analyst job, you're going to have to put in more time and work than you probably are right now. I mean, depending on your background, it could take upwards of a year of 40 plus hours a week studying. But if you take my Mad Hat crash course for security analysts, you're guaranteed a job in six months or less or your money back. Kidding. Kind of. You've got to accept exactly what it's going to take to get that first cybersecurity job. Now there's no magical roadmap either that is perfect for everyone, perfect for every cybersecurity niche, perfect for every cybersecurity role. One certificate, two, three, isn't going to guarantee you a job. This is a grind. Working in cybersecurity, once you get the job, is also a grind. I spend half the damn day going over documentation. You think I like doing that? Yes. Yes, I do. But you've got to accept that this isn't easy. Cybersecurity isn't static. It's constantly growing. And with it, the technology around it is changing, evolving, adapting to the needs of the people and the products. Quitters never win and winners never quit. You're a winner. You've got the gift. Always remember, if you ain't first, you're last. How does it feel to treat me 
like 